You're probably wondering what are we doing here? Well, we just got back from a job and we had to take apart an elliptical. We couldn't bring it downstairs unless we took it apart. So now we're gonna reattach it, figure it out so we can take it to the donation center. And if we can donate things, that's honestly the best way of doing it. We're almost done. What are we, day like 17? Day Maybe 17, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby! The whole truck is filled. Right now, we are trying to get to Bermondsey Transfer Station. It's two miles away. We got it strapped up. Let's go, baby! As long as nothing flies out, I think we are good. Today, we picked up an elliptical machine. That being said, we had to rush to another job. So we placed it at my buddy Will's house. We're gonna either see if we can get rid of it spring cleaning or the dump, but we are about one minute away. This is the last job of the day. We're gonna go back. We're just gonna get after it. See you guys soon. Nothing flew out of the truck. We are gonna be taking all the stuff and throw it in the cardboard bin, and then we're gonna cash out. But first, we gotta release the hook. Hey, we're strapless. Ooh. Let's go, man. Make sure I wear the protective goggles. So we are gonna find out how much the dump fee was. I'm gonna take a guess that in total, it's gonna be 15 bucks or less. Will, what do you think? I'm gonna say $12.46. So the total fee is $14.13. I was off by a dollar, but I still beat Will. <laughs> Let's go, baby. All, All right. right, next time. That gives us a profit of $36, so pays for our gas. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We're on our way home right now. So we're on our way to the first job of the day. I gotta go pick up a trailer and we're off to a friend's house to pick up a couple things. We're gonna get rid of all this stuff and I'll see you guys soon. Day 18, baby! Right now I'm at the job site. I'm trying to figure out the trailer situation. The right light's coming on, but the left one's not. Stuff happens, but you just gotta stay positive and keep grinding. Wanna go for a swim? Uh, all right, so today's been a very chaotic day so far. It's not even 11 o'clock. I went to the U-Haul. This is a new place that I haven't used before. Not a great experience. I go and I park my truck. I pull it up to the trailer and I plug it in and the right light's not working on it. Then I go to another trailer. Same thing, right light's not working. That's two faulty trailers. I have to get a job done and I had to get a truck. So we're in a truck now. I like driving the truck better. To be honest, it's a lot more fun. Trucks are way better than trailers. I'm gonna go pick up Will right now. We're gonna head over to the job. We're gonna get stuff done. I'm gonna have to bite this one a little. You gotta eat the cost, that's okay. We're gonna get going on this stuff. Let's go, baby. We're early. Better be early than it is to be late. I'm gonna throw us and we're gonna get out of here, guys. See you soon. Got rid of all the bushes. Realize that they're different charges. So we're gonna have to bite the bullet on that one. So we're gonna close this thing up, get weighed up. That worked out well. 385, let's go! So I think we're going right and then we're going to that building right there that says entrance. Today, the odds were against us, but you know what? We solve it, because that's what entrepreneurs do. They solve problems. So this week, we had a job. It was one of my buddies. He had some like shrubs, household items, metal, and some glass. I rushed over, I picked up Will. We made a stop at Starbucks before. We went to the dump, threw it all in. Then I went to check out, and we didn't have to spend too much money. The job total was $30, and then we had to pay for like the truck, and I had to pay for Will, because he's employed. We got a lot of new exciting things coming out. I just built out a price list that I'm gonna show to all my clients. There is one thing I wanna tell you. I almost got scammed the other day. This guy sent me an email. He said that he had a big job with 15 to 20 different assortments of like mattresses, appliances. He said that he was in the hospital. He's going through surgery, that he wanted it all done on Monday. Now this is Saturday when I got the email. He had a weird number. So when I looked it up on Google, it said that it was a California number. So that was kind of suspicious. And then I said, hey, where are you located? He goes, hey, I gotta let you go. I'm in the car right now. Yeah, that's great. Where are you located? Just so I can start the process. He said, hey, hey, I, I, I can't right now. Then he sent me an email. 
email of all these things. He gave me his address. I started looking it up. And I told him, hey man, the job's gonna be roughly three to five K. He's like, hey, that works with my budget. So I said, I just need a deposit. So I said about a thousand bucks. Sent him the invoice and he said, how do you take payment? And I said, we can do credit cards, e-transfer. He's like, oh, I can't do credit card. I can do check. And I said, no. One, he's moving out or someone's moving into a place. Two, it just felt really sketchy because he wanted me to get his landlord to come over. Maybe like a carjacking or a scam. And then after I said, I don't accept the check, I never heard back from him. Completely ghosted me. He probably thought I was some poor schlub that was going to fall for it. If it feels too good to be true, it probably is. So that deal, I, I'm never looking back. It was a big scam. So I moved on and on to the next job.